My dudes, new Marvel Legends are supposedly showing up at Walgreens. Do we have anything new? It does not look like it. <laughs> we do have Emma. Haven't seen her in a while. That's good to see. Got Boom Boom, Ant Man, more Ant Man Songbird. A new wave has not arrived here. They do have Clone Commander. Not exactly in the best condition. Looks good though. I haven't seen him in a while. It's good to see. All right, let's see what we can find. Ooh, we got some Jurassic World stuff on sale. <laughs> Only a dollar. Only a dollar discount. I know at some places, this Triceratops and some other stuff is showing up for $5. So definitely keep that in mind. Ninja Turtles. Restock. $44.97. Yeah, this Walmart is really dry right now. They do have two of these still. 50 bucks, And these are showing up for like 25 bucks at some places. Same with the skiff. I don't think I'm gonna get those two. I don't collect the three and three quarter figures. Although it does look pretty cool. Man, imagine it's just a whole bunch of characters on the skiff. Maybe even a on a couple skiffs too. On display, that would, that would look pretty cool. All right, as you can see, <laughs> the Bro Thor wave have has not arrived at this Walmart yet. Shuri's. Yeah, I thought Shuri was hard to find at one point. Anything hidden? Nope, not today. Overwatch figs are still 20 bucks. Union Jack. Oh, got two Pink Pie Rangers. Nice. That's good to see. Have not seen her in a while. Hell, the White Ranger is taking. I actually need to buy the White Ranger. These Fortnite figures are on sale. Seventeen eighty-eight. I still really want that Leviathan. Oh, he's not here. Maybe I need to pick him up. Maybe everyone's taking a Leviathan because man, that that figure has a lot of great details. Really cool skin. Mortal Kombat. This thing is twenty bucks. This thing is 11 bucks. I really want this Mortal Kombat one. Oh man, I got a whole bunch. Jeez. One of the androids. Well, I think that's about it. Yeah, I'm gonna go to another Walmart and hopefully they have some some more selections. All right, let's get out of here. All right, check it out, my dudes. So I checked the Marvel Legends section. They didn't have anything, of course, but I checked uh, with my guy that works here. And he looked in the back and he brought this case out here. And this is the new Demo Goblin Wave. So let's check it out. It's my first time seeing it. Superior Octopus. There's Vulture. He looks freaking awesome. Dang, look at it's like a birthmark on his head. That's that's so that's a really nice addition. Shang-Chi, oh man, I am so ready to pose this guy around. Look at them butterfly joints. He's got some nips too. <laughs> Look at all those, oh my goodness, I can't wait. There's White Rabbit. There's one of the suits from the game. Okay, so it looks like these come two per case. And we got this suit as well. I don't know the names of the suit. There we go. Oh man, that's sick. Alright, we are at the NECA section. 
and looks like oh I don't think I've seen these last time three and three quarter the dark crystal figures wow they look they look really good for their size man a lot of details I haven't seen this movie um, let me know in the comments if you think it was good looks interesting and they're bringing out a lot of products so it must be must be okay what the heck dancing pickle rig connector you can connect your smartphone to this what the hell the thing vibrates what the heck making all kinds of stuff these days whoa look at this dude he looks really cool I don't think I've met him yet on the show um, I've only seen like several episodes here we go oh yeah they're having a sale right now on NECA products if you buy one you get the next one half off I already bought this last time I do need a chrysalis alien, okay. I did want one of these Godzillas. Scrapman. Got the trick or treat. Figure. One Ninja Turtle set. Interesting. The Pennywise. Look at all these 10 inch pops, man. You got some even, yeah, in the back as well. Ooh, they got this Xenomorph Warrior thing is man I have no room for predators and aliens right now my shelf is a predator and alien shelf is full so I I need to buy some details I need to like quit buying toys for like a couple weeks and save up for details or maybe some other shelving units oh, nothing new here same old I wonder if they're gonna bring some more figure arts they sold all the Goku ones Mega Man all right, yeah, let's get out of here. All right, let's see. Whoa, they got some new Transformer bot bots. Interesting. Oh, this is on clearance. I do want a really good Martian Manhunter figure, but 10 bucks. Those are pretty good. Not bad. There's three of them. Yeah, I don't need them. All right, I'll show you all the bots. Okay, this was going for 80 bucks. This set looks like it's 55 now. Oh, yeah, I actually really like this. Make it, or sorry, this Prime figure looks really good, especially with the wings that looks nice shockwave oh that actually looks pretty cool all right let's see of course there's not any yeah No new ones. All the same old oh, what Captain Marvel's Electra back there. Ooh, Overwatch figs are finally on sale and they are ten bucks. We did find Lucio for what? Is it five ninety nine, six ninety nine at all these? I forgot. Yeah, these it's probably gonna go down even more, so. Oh nice, these are twenty bucks. Oh yeah, once they hit 10, I'll at least get this 2-pack here. I won't have this yet. I already got the Mercy 2-pack. Bought that from Ross as well. Roblox. Alright, I think that does it. What's over here? Oh, this is on sale. 20 bucks. It was 40. 
Oh, Batman Lego set. It was 100 bucks. Now it's 70. Wow. Comes with Alfred. <laughs> wow, a whole bunch of bat suits too. Blue Vegeta. Is he on sale? Nope. Oh, they got these special. <laughs> Ah, uh, get them elbows. Man, these are small. Are they on sale? I don't think so. Uh, I don't see no stick on them. They should be on sale. They're just not selling any of them. That Batman figure is 14 bucks. C3PO, 14 bucks. That's not that good of a sale. Ooh, collector's mystery box, $28. Another C3PO, $13.98. I would love to get them for like six or something. You know, gotta wonder. You know what? This is like. These shelves are at the end cap of this area, and they're always fully stocked here because I feel like a lot of people don't check this area. The last time all the Ezra 10 inch pops were here. I may pick that up in the future once it gets a little lower because I don't really need a C3PO figure, but it looks great. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so I have a bunch of dinosaurs, full price here at Target. Ooh, damn, these were going for $24.99? I didn't know that. These look really nice. I would love to have a couple of these. But $17.48, man, I think I will wait. There's four of them. There's a Janna too. I could use a Janna. Sith Trooper, First Order Jet Trooper, Jawa. Yeah, I already know my Mando's not gonna be here. It's Janna. By the way, that last episode of The Mandalorian was awesome. <sighs> Surprise Moloch is not on sale. He was last week. I really want these. These look so good. Is that a cloth cape? It almost looks like it. I can't tell for sure. Man, these look sick. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to pay that price. I'll wait. All right, let's get out of here. You know what? We're going to do like an experiment. We're actually, let's actually hide one somewhere. And then we'll come back in maybe in a couple weeks and we'll see if it's still there, okay? Just to make it interesting. All right. All right, guys. So I'm going to hide it in this shelf here. In this little bin. And we, we will check next time. Just to experiment. I've never hidden a figure, so we'll see how it goes. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh, snaps. Check it out, guys. So there were some other customers around here, so I didn't get to record it at first so it looks like yeah they don't have yeah they don't have Victor Von Doom he's been taken they have Mr. Fantastic there's Johnny Storm let's take a look at him oh yeah Susan looks great I like this version better than the previous version ah why did they have to take both Dooms Oh man, thing is heavy, which is expected, but yeah, this definitely looks different from the, the previous version. The previous lo version looks better in my opinion. Oh gosh. I don't think I'm going to, yeah, I'm not going to pick these up yet. I think they're going to be around for a while. Ah, oh, why did they have to take both the Dr. Dooms? That's really good to see though, man. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah She-Hulk is missing too man I wish she was here why maybe they hit him somewhere they are having a sale on some of these dinosaurs too I already checked the price like this I don't even know how to pronounce that but he's going for 11 bucks which is nice
the same thing with with this quetzal here it's a big bird so keep that in mind i think that does it why is wow walking dead figure here overwatch figs are 25 dollars now <laughs> it's about time they're on sale i think that does it yeah if i see anything else i'll show you all right let's get out of here Okay, let's see if we have anything new. Got some dinosaurs, a dollar off. What's five dollars? Oh, the Roryvores. Which one's the Roryvores? That chair top is still nine bucks. Roryvores is something else. Oh, this set is 25 bucks. Nice. I already got it though, so I don't need it. It's a great looking set. This thing, Godzilla mask. I don't see no mask, but this thing is, let's see. Oh, it's still 12.97. Oh, this pack is five bucks. Oh, the skiff is 25 bucks here. That thing is not on sale. Jabba's Palace. It may be, maybe they didn't put the sticker. Oh, all these Marvel, all these Marvel Legends are 11 bucks. And I probably don't need any of them. Cannonball. I would like to build another Kingpin, but Deadpool, wow. Haven't seen that in a while. Overwatch figs are 11. Yeah. Power range figures are not on sale. Yeah, something else. Do have a couple pink rangers. I still do, yeah, I need this white ranger, but I'm gonna wait until it goes on sale here. Check it out, guys. These Gray Skull Mania Battleground pack set here also comes with the ring it's ten dollars now already it was 30 bucks and they have like, about like more than 10 copies here it's crazy yeah keep that in mind I guess these are already going on sale all right let's see if they have any new Marvel Legends they do have the Beast Morphers Gold Ranger Black Ranger as well. Hydro Man. <clears throat> X Force Wolverine. Anything hiding back there? Nope. <clears throat> Tobias Luke Skywalker. Oh man. I haven't seen that. In a long time. Range Trooper. Let's see what's way back there. I think that does it. <clears throat> For the Mysterio Pop. Vulture as well. I think that does it, yeah. Let's get out of here. All right, let's hope they have some new stuff. Oh my goodness, look at all these. No, that's not 14. Look how many Jabba's Palace and Skiffs they have. Holy crap. <clears throat> let's see. I would actually like another Cara Dune. I want to keep one in package. Oh man, it's a mess here. No, not much Black Series. Mega Duel. 
Orvores are five. Albertosaurus. <clears throat> May actually have to look those up. I would like to get this set for 11 bucks. That would be nice. I don't think that's the one though. That's what I'm gonna sell. This is 49 bucks. Maybe it's on sale. I already got it though. <clears throat> Any new Marvel Legends? No, nope, we got someone that swapped out a piece. Some bastard. No. I was hoping to see Fantastic Four or the Sang Chi. <clears throat> Got some Call of Duty. Oh, nothing's really on sale here, too. Mm -hmm. All right, if I see anything else, I will show y'all. All right, guys, I just scanned this Albertosaurus. I believe it's retailed 20 bucks, but it's going for 11, so. Remember to always use your um, Walmart app to scan some items so sometimes they don't put the sales sticker. Right. Look at this, they have the rabbit ride armor for Mega Man. That's really cool. 90 bucks though. We need a poop piglet set. <laughs> Spider Gwen. Mr. Sinister, Mr. Sinister, 50 bucks. That actually looks really good. And Phoenix, 50 bucks. Metal Gears. Some more Figma. All right, these are the Nendroids, actually. I should just pick one up for very cheap. But they have the Figma Diva now. It'd be nice to feel like she came with her bot. Be badass, but probably expensive. They do have Cap here. He's the only one from that wave. I still need this Power Ranger. They have the Star Lord helmet. 100 bucks. That looks really cool. That's actually a helmet that I would probably get if I found a good price. They have Wolverine too. That's really cool. Alright, I think that does it. Yeah, let's get out of here. I have not been to this Best Buy in a very long time. Last time I was here, we found Jubilee. So, that was like more than several months ago. Do have the Stegosaurus, which I still want. I'm waiting for it to hit a good price. I do got IG-11s. Do they have the heavy... Infantry? No, they don't. Did they have it? Oh, they did. The Infantry Mandalorian. Oh, man. Those sold out quickly. I should have pre-ordered it. There's Kylo hiding back there. With the Marvel Legends, got Captain Marvel, Ant-Man. Yeah, nothing new. Boom boom. Boom boom and cannonball. Yeah, nothing new. I do want an IG-11, but I'm in no rush, yeah. Pretty sure there's a lot at my other, my local Best Buy. Uh, let's take a peek. Let's see what else. Ooh, Daenerys is going for $12.99. This one doesn't look that bad. I do want this Tyrion. I don't know why he's not on sale. Some Fortnite figures, all 20 bucks. Some are 24.99. Oh, the Jazzware is 20 bucks. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. All right, show me something new. down here anything now got magic 
green back there. Medusa, another Medusa. Yeah, man. That's about it. Cat Clone Commander. Kenobi here. It's good to see. Boom. I think that does it. There's some Black Rangers. What's that? An old, some old Power Rangers. I think that does it. If I see anything else, I will show y'all. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right. Please let them have She-Hulk. Who do we have here? We have Doctor Doom. Yes. <sighs> Uh, someone took most of this wave, but it looks like this Fantastic Four wave has been untouched. I think there are two cases, I'm guessing, because I don't think they come... I don't think Doctor Doom come two per case. Oh, we hit the jackpot, yes! You know what, I was going to wait and get Johnny Storm and Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman later on, but I might as well get them right now. Cause they might be tough to get. I really didn't want to pay you no know, twenty dollars for Marvel Legends this year, but some I think some are gonna just gonna be hard to come across in the future. So and I think this wave is gonna be one of those. Man, she looks great. Oh, we got some new dinosaurs. Nice, Tarbosaurus. <clears throat> that actually does not look realistic, but. Looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, they don't have anything new. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, check it out guys. They have some new stuff. Some new Transformers, I believe. Sharkticons. $9.99. But check this out. The Bat Cycle and Bat Moto. Or... Bat cycle slash bat mana. Looks like it comes with a clay face. And they look like they're three and three quarter figures. Seventeen ninety nine. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go somewhere else. All right. Does not look like they have any new Marvel Legends at this location. It does look like this Star Force Captain Marvel is going for five ninety eight. Oh man, they're stacked of them. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab one because yeah, I think she would look good with Yanrog and Gina Fell. Ant Man back there. Skullbuster Electra. have let's see I think this is new Batmobile 20 bucks all right I think that does it yeah yeah let's get out of here all right check it out guys um a lady's working on the NECA section over there so I don't want to bother her but I grabbed this from the section and they as you can see, they have the Bob Ross action figure from NECA, I believe. Yeah, NECA. It's a seven, maybe an eight inch figure. His face go okay. I mean, look at that. It could, it could have been better. Could have been better, but I mean, it comes with the cloth goods. All the painting accessories. <laughs> That looks awesome. I don't know how much this is, but I don't know. I may pick it up. We'll see. I'll think about it. All right, let's get out of here. All right, let's see. Oh, we got some of the new McFarlane. Here's Batman. Oh, man. They have been picked. Oh, I wanted to see Superman. Superman looks awesome, but... 
Okay, this Batman looks alright. His head looks kind of small. Yeah, smaller than it should be in my opinion. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna... Yeah. Animated version. I like how wide he is. He looks good, not bad. The face is very plain, very simple. These are what, like 20 bucks? Yeah, I think these should be less, in my opinion. Yeah, they don't look as great as I thought they were going to be. Tell you the truth. Got these two. Oh man. Uh, they don't have any new Marvel Legends. A bunch of war machines. A bunch of these Thanos. Some new Transformers, maybe? I don't know. Pink Ranger. I do need to get the red and white Ranger, but I'm waiting for them to go on sale. That's about it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Hey, what's going on, my Rangers? Welcome to my humble abode. Hope y'all been doing great. Hope y'all enjoyed the hunt. Um, I know this was a pretty long one, so you know what? The people have spoken. Um, I actually posted my first community post on YouTube and many people voted uh, which I was pretty surprised I think over 80 to 90 people voted and I believe like it's like 70 something percent uh, preferred long videos over the short videos but more frequent uploads so I uh, just want to thank everybody for voting I really appreciate it um, I'm gonna be putting out more community posts in the future so I can you know better um, find out better ways to improve the channel and such and um, you know just to find out uh, you know the majority's opinions on certain certain things so if y'all can uh, chime in on those um, straw polls that would be great um, but anyways um, got a pretty big haul here uh, so I got some stuff that I got for Chris or for my birthday and Christmas um, I actually didn't get gifted any action figures for for my birthday or Christmas, but I got gifted money and gift cards, so I used that on figures, of course. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's go and get to this. Uh, so first, I'm going to show y'all the uh, online pickups. So let's go ahead and get to that. So let's see. Um, I did pick up some Mesco figures, and the first one we have here is. Deathstroke. This is the regular version. Uh, I'm not sure how limited these were, but these uh, are going for like a hundred something online, and I got a pretty good price on it. So, and it looks great. <clears throat> Deathstroke is such a cool looking, such a cool looking um, super villain. Comes with that long assault rifle, as you can see. Really nice details. The articulation is a bit limited, but yeah, with Mescos, they're usually a bit limited on certain areas. But man, Mescos, man. I've been really, really digging the Mesco line. It's just, I believe it's my favorite line right now, honestly. Yep, there's Deathstroke. Alright, and then I also got another Mesco from uh, someone on Facebook. Got a really good price on this fella. And, oh man. This figure is so nice. It is the Red Sun Superman. Look how glorious he looks. And I believe this is uh, the first time for me for en encountering this body mold from a Mesco figure. It's, I mean, of course it's gonna be buff as Superman, but it's, man, the musculature. You can like feel the musculature. Look at the thunder thighs, the musculature there. Just a really nice body mold. I really like it. I wonder if it's like similar to Logan's. Does anyone know? If you do know, please comment down below. And as you can see, it com comes with uh, cloth goods. And it comes with the uh, Soviet symbol there. Um, this was um, based off a comic book um, that uh, takes place in alternative history where 
uh, Superman lands in the Soviet Union, I believe, and he becomes, I guess, nicknamed Red Sun. I'm not too sure. I don't, I don't know too much about the story. I just know a little bit about it. Just read about it uh, briefly on uh, Google. But I definitely want to read the whole story now that I got the figure. Yeah, just an excellent looking figure. Uh, it would have been nice if it had wired capes, a wired cape, but it does not. Um, face sculpt looks pretty good. I really like it. I really like the color of this suit and the feel of it. <clears throat> um, I do I do have one gripe. Um, I wish the uh, anchor, ankle, ankle, <clears throat> excuse me, I can't talk. I wish the ankle was able to um, be more flexible. Like it can't bend as far. So when you're doing like a flying pose, like when I do a flying pose, I usually like to have the ankles, like the foot stretched out. You know what I'm saying? Like he's using it as like aerodynamics in a sense, even though Super is Superman, he don't really need aerodynamic, but you know what I mean? Just looks more sharper um, when he's flying through the air with his uh, feet pointed out. I don't know, just a small grind. Overall, an excellent looking figure. And I think this figure, man, he's probably going to get up to like 300. You know, maybe in a couple months or so. I would not be surprised. It's just an excellent figure. Yeah, I used some birthday money for this one. It's great. All right. Uh, I'll be back with the next figure. All right. Continuing with this past month's haul. Uh, I got this figure from Amazon. And it's another Mesco figure. And I got it for $56. So, I mean, that's definitely a great price for a Mesco. Um, so basically, when when I have a figure that I really want, but I don't want to pay the full retail price, I just put it in my Amazon wish list, and then I'll look through my wish list once in a while and see if the, the price went down on that particular figure or any particular figures that I'm looking for. So this went down to 56 so... I jumped on it right away, and it came in great condition. Um, yeah, another Wolverine figure, but <clears throat> he's got the uh, the tank top and the jeans, which looks nice. The belt buckle, it might be the same as the old man Logan one. I'm going to have to check. Maybe I think the boots are the same too. But yeah, looks great. That's the cowboy hat. <clears throat> all right let's get to our next figure all right so i actually got these figures from walmart and they were all on sale on clearance <clears throat> and let's see there's the allosaurus got this fella for five bucks um i actually bought this guy at ross uh for six or i think 8.99 so I went ahead and just returned it. Um, I didn't open it up, so I returned it at Ross. Uh, got what, like four, three, four dollars back, and then yeah, bought this at uh, Walmart for five bucks. Same with this, Sinoceratops. And I know some people might think it's a hassle going back and returning something just to get something cheaper from another place, but it's totally worth it. You know, if you have the time and you have the patience and the will. Go do it. You'll save, you know, I saved like eight bucks um, just by returning a couple uh, figures at Ross. And then we have this. Let me move all this. This is the Sucho Mimus. I'm probably butchering that. But it looks pretty cool. Um, it looks like it's got some. Does that. Uh, wiggles his tail. Yeah, it looks great. A lot of nice details. Uh, this guy was going for 11 bucks. So that's definitely a great deal in my opinion. There's that. And then let's see what else do we get. Also, got the Albertosaurus. He was going for $11 as well. And almost every Walmart that I visited had uh, these dinosaurs figures uh, on clearance. So definitely check your uh, local Walmarts if you have... If you're looking for any of these. And then, last of the dinosaurs, got the Quitzel. And this is a gigantic bird, as you can see. And I got this for $11 as well. That's pretty cool. I know I love my dinosaurs. Alright, let's get to the next items. 
All right, we have two more items before we get to the legend, so let's go ahead and get to them. So this one uh, I acquired at Target. It is the Bob Ross NECA figure. It's about seven to eight inches tall, as you can see. Comes with tons of painting accessories, which is really cool. The paint canvas or whatever you call it. Really awesome packaging. Look at the art on the side. Beautiful, the joy of painting. Bob, man, this is awesome. It's so awesome that Bob Ross is still popular, you know? Like, man, when I was younger, when I watched his videos, I used to get ASMR tingles. If you don't know what that is, you may want to look it up. Um, I could explain it, but it could take a long time. But it's a certain type of feeling you get on certain situations that gives you, like, body tingles. It's really hard to explain to someone who never felt this feeling before, but... I used to get these tingles when I was younger and I could never relate to anybody when I talked about it. No one could understand what I'm talking about. But now that I'm older, there's I found out like several years ago, there's a huge community out there um, that's into ASMR and it's getting so it's getting more and more popular every every day on YouTube and a lot of other places. But yeah, there's that. Looks great. Not the best face sculpt. The fro is definitely on point. Cloth goods are nice. Accessories are superb. Look at the details. Didn't even have to add all that. Man, that is awesome. Look at that. Looks like real paint. It probably is <laughs> real paint. <laughs> the canvas and that famous drawing that he, that he did with the happy little trees. Oh yes, happy little trees. <laughs> but yeah, there's Bob Ross, and he was going for 30 bucks at Target in the next section. All right, let's get to the next item. All right, so this next figure was actually acquired from Amazon Japan. I pre-ordered this last year, and this was very, a uh, very highly anticipated figure for me. And it is the Mafex Wolverine. And if you've seen some reviews of this guy, there's a lot of negative feedback uh, about this figure. Uh, mostly about the uh, certain limbs falling off very easily, which is definitely true. I mean, I guess it depends on the figure that you get, but I think for most people, these, these certain limbs do fall apart pretty easily. And honestly, I think... I think it's part of the the engineering you know if they made certain parts too tight and made it where like if you like bend certain parts and articulate uh, certain parts too much then it will break but they made it they engineered it to a point where if you do it too much then it will actually just the limb will kind of fall off so in conclusion i gotta say with this figure you you just gotta finesse it you gotta have a lot more finesse um uh, compared to like when you're handling Marvel Legends, um, you just got to be easy with the joints. You got to be really soft with the touch. Um, I feel like if you got like really clumsy hands and clumsy fingers, and clumsy just handling, then it's gonna be one of those type of figures you're just gonna you're just gonna be very frustrated with. But I mean, in my opinion, the the poses that you can hit with this figure is just amazing. Um, I know a lot of people complained about the paint. Um, I don't really have any complaints. Um, I even with the hide and everything, I'm not anal about. Oh, it's got to be like comic book accurate and all that. Man, there's different versions everywhere, and even comic books, they're not always scaled the right way. You know, they're not always perfectly the certain height in you know, a certain image and stuff. So I'm not really anal about that. So um, even with this color of the tiger stripes, um, there's different versions out there. Sometimes, most time, it is black. But yeah, as you can see, it is metallic blue. I really like this face sculpt. You could really, it really got uh, like a manga inspired look. I could be wrong, but that's the vibe that I get. And I don't know, it looks great in my opinion. And uh, the articulation is just absolutely awesome. Um, just like Spider-Man, you can actually kind of like fold the thigh here. You see that? The joint kind of comes loose right there. And then you kind of like do a lot more dynamic poses because of that joint 
and I don't know it's just a really awesome figure um, the, I do notice that the torso joint is extremely tight on almost everybody's figures and I think they made it like that for a reason like if you look at the Mafic spider-man figure it's like buttery smooth you can move around the torso very easily and all around but this one they made it very tight and I think it's because they made it too loose if you made it like in certain like certain position if you made this way separated like put them way apart from each other then these stripes won't match well I don't know that's just kind of a theory maybe that's why they made it tight so they can keep these stripes like together for the most part and make it look like it's you know just realistic like it's not gonna go all over the place and have like a stripe here going this way that way sorry I know I'm not the best at explaining stuff but hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say but yeah just an excellent figure um, I did notice this shoulder pauldron is a bit similar to the Marvel Legends version but in this version there is no like peg on this side on the front side to make it like connect to the arm or anything it's loose and this provides um, access for this to you know move around a lot more which is very nice on certain poses you can kind of like adjust it to look more realistic I guess you could say and sometimes make the arm even the shoulders make make the shoulders look even bigger sometimes by lifting it up on certain angles in certain poses but yeah so overall in my opinion I think this is a, a marvelous figure so fun to pose around um, this was actually my first time this that the shoulder pauldron popped out but yeah, it's, it can be easily put in as you can see but yeah just an awesome looking figure in my opinion um, comes with the masked um, head sculpt as well and like I said like with a lot of these imports make sure you get it from Amazon Japan you get it so much cheaper so much cheaper and when it comes out they ship to you very quickly and I love the way they package it. it's very unique <clears throat> but anyways um, let me know if any of y'all got this and you like this figure uh, let me know your thoughts on it but there's that yep it's the Mayfix Wolverine all right, let's put this away. Let's get to the legends. All right, I'll be right back. All right, to the Marvel Legends. So at Target, we did get the Captain Marvel Star Force version figure, and it was going for five ninety eight. Not even a big fan of Captain Marvel, but I'm a collector, man. If I could find a Marvel figure for cheap, man, I'm gonna collect it. <laughs> <laughs> and she's gonna look good. This suit is gonna look really good with Jan Rog and Gina's Val, so <clears throat> that is pretty cool. Really cool accessories now. Now that I notice. Oh, it comes with a scarf too. That's awesome. But yeah, $5.98, yeah, can't beat that. I don't think it's gonna be any cheaper. Um and let's see. From Walmart, man, we got I'm I'm glad I Asked my guy at Walmart to check the back. And that part you go out, Walmart, man, they always put things out so late. So, man, a lot of times when you go to Walmart, you have to ask these employees at times, you know? Like, so there's going to be a lot of moments where these boxes are probably in the back just sitting there and just waiting for someone to put out in the front. All right, so... I didn't get the whole way, but I got the ones that I feel like that that may be difficult in the future to acquire. Um, I did not want to spend that much money at that time, as, as much as I would love the whole way. But yeah, we got Vulture. There's a side art. Let's take a look at him. Oh yes, look at them. Oh, man, great face sculpt. Look at that Timo Goblin head, man. That looks nasty. And Oh, and vicious looks awesome. Yeah, this vulture is definitely gonna be replacing my other vulture. Uh, I got the other vulture from the Spider-Man two pack. Oh, I didn't even notice this head sculpt. Man, it looks really good. Look at the wrinkles. Interesting. That's awesome. Look at the wings. <laughs> Alright, set them aside. Let's see. And then we got White Rabbit 
And man, this figure is actually this figure actually really surprised me. Like I really like the colors and it just looks really good. It looks really clean. And I guess that's the mount for Demo Goblin. And oh, it comes with the umbrella. Nice. I don't know too much about this character. Let's actually read the back because I'm, I'm pretty sure maybe some of y'all don't know. A uh, brilliant woman with a twisted mind. Dr. Lorena Dodson is the deranged queen of crime. The White Rabbit. That's it? Come on, man. Should give some more info. But yeah, she looks great. Really like that face sculpt, man. That's clean. Looks clean. Alright, there's that. And we also got that superior octopus. That's awesome looking. Is it Spider Man or is it Dr. Octopus in the Spider Man suit? I don't know anything about this. Uh, let's read the back. Otto Octavia suits up in a high tech spider suit to protect the city as the superior octopus. Interesting, okay. Alright, Otto. Doing his thing. Must have lost some weight. Yeah, he must have lost some weight to get into that suit. <laughs> yeah, that's good. And then last of all from this wave, we got Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu. And there's going to be a movie of this fella, which is awesome. Look at all those interchangeable hands for all his martial arts poses. Man, I can't wait to pose this guy. Definitely reminds me of Liu Kang. <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> oh, I should cosplay this guy. <laughs> That'll be too easy. Man, it looks good. Seriously, look at the nips. It's got the pink nips. Oh man, yes, those interchangeable hands. That's, this is gonna be a really fun figure to play around with, for sure. Uh, again, I don't know too much about this character. Uh, he's a master of martial arts and a warrior for justice. Okay, that's cool. Lou. <laughs> All right, so that's that. From the demo goblin wave so let's see i still need those two spider-man suits i feel like those are gonna be popular i mean those are not gonna be popular that's why i didn't get them yet yeah so just need two the two more to finish this wave but yeah i'm in no rush all right let's get to our next figures all right and so from target we found this wave got Mr. Fantastic we have Human Torch we have The Thing aka Ben Grimm and then we have She-Hulk and then we've got Dr. Doom oh yes I had to take him out of package right when I got home um, and I gotta say, he's a marvelous figure. Uh, we'll get to him in a sec. Um, so as you can see, I did not pick up Susan Storm. She's the only, the invisible woman. Um, she's the only one that I did not pick up. Um, I just couldn't spend another twenty dollars at the time. I know it would have been nice to finish the wave, but um, for that week's budget, I was just, yeah, I just couldn't do it. And I can wait. It's no problem, man. I don't need to build this as soon as possible or anything like that matter of fact i do want to actually keep most of these on card and then in the future maybe i, I if i can get some more at a cheaper price that would be nice to get because i already have a fantastic four display although i do i really do like these suits i like the color um tones in it and um the thing, ah, this is, yeah, this thing is not an improvement. I guess it's a different version. I believe, like, the mouth and the eyebrow um, is not as defined as the first one. Or it's, it's, it's slightly different. I forget what's the difference, but, yeah. And the color here is, as you can see, put some light orangish paint on there on some of these parts, too. I don't know. Give it, like, a shade, shading look? I don't know. It, it doesn't look good to me. It doesn't give that shading look if they were going for it 
Um, but it's nice that they released another thing, you know, especially for other collectors who, who couldn't get the uh, Walgreens exclusive. And those scroll head sculpts, they look pretty good. But yeah, I'll get Susan later down the road. Um, let's actually, um, so as you can see, I already opened up Dr. Doom out of the package. I actually want to open up She-Hulk, so let's actually open her up out of the package together. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so here is She-Hulk out of the package. And man, she is, she's a tall figure. She looks mean. This is a woman that you do not want to mess with. Look at that facial expression. Absolutely beautiful and vicious looking. Man, she looks like she is about to hurt somebody. Man, see, if they keep making figures with a lot more expressive figures, it just makes it so much better. I mean, look at that. It looks great. Looks like she's about to, she's about to throw down. She's about to do something. That's what you call an action figure. Um, let's see, the paint. Yeah, I don't know why she's like more grayish. I thought she was supposed to be green. The green marks, I'm not sure what, is that supposed to be blood? When she sheds blood, does it turn green? Is it green? I don't know. Um, if someone do know, please comment down below if you'd like to. But um, man, I gotta say, this is a this is an awesome looking figure. I mean, look at the abs, look at all the sculpting. It looks great, really good articulation for a female figure. It doesn't have the butterfly joints, which is unfortunate. And I think it would have been really nice to have on her. But then again, aesthetically, yeah, it does look better without the, the butterfly joints. It looks cleaner. But yeah. And that face reminds me of a World of Warcraft character. She got the torso rotation. Oh yeah, nice and wide and buttery. That is what I'm talking about. Oh man. Oh. Yes, look at the musculature. Oh man, she got a good looking butt too. Dang, she Hulk, you got it going on. This is what you call a woman. <laughs> what do y'all think? Man, I think she's an excellent figure. Really happy to have found her. Dang. Okay, let's uh, let's get Doctor Doom in this picture. In this joint. The infamous Victor Von Doom. Oh, baby. This is the def. Oh, yeah. This is the Dr. Doom figure that I will keep on my shelves. I have one older one. A Toy Biz one, yeah, but it doesn't look great at all. This is absolutely great. Oh, man. Why is it not focusing? Reverse eye. Change the lighting. Um, it did camp. He did come with another face sculpt. As you can see, his eye, I don't know if you can see clearly, but on the second face sculpt, he's looking to the left and his hoodie is a bit, um, as you can see, it's not as symmetrical as the other one. So maybe like when he's moving or something, like if you're putting like in a moving pose, you want to put this head sculpt, well, I don't know. That's a pretty cool addition. Um, really good face sculpt. The mask looks great. Uh, the suit looks awesome. The tunic, the cape. Everything about this figure looks great. Well, you know, I actually have one gripe. Um, it's the ankle. The ankle suffers. I, I don't know what you would call it, but it's it's got the same feel as like the Lord Zed uh, Power Ranger figure. That's why the Lord's Ed figure was not in my top 10 action figures. I mean, that's an awesome looking figure, but it's not fun to pose around because the ankles are just so, what's the word? Weak? Uh, that's probably not the right word I'm looking for. It just, I don't know. I would, it'd be nice if they had like an ankle ratchet or something that's just stronger, you know? Like, uh, with Dr. Doom, you can, you can actually use his cape to kind of keep him standing up on certain poses. Um, but 
I can't explain it. Yeah, the ankle. It just, I don't know. It's just not a good rocker. Well, the rocker actually is okay. But, like, it's just really weak. Anyone know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hope y'all do. <laughs> it's just, it just don't got strong ankles, I guess. That's the best way to put it. But overall, just a really good, really good looking Doctor Doom. No doubt about it. The gauntlet looks great. Really nice attention to details. Um, these pendants or whatever, whatever you call these. Look at all the details. They didn't have to sculpt that. Belt buckle as well. Leggings, man, looks great. Looks, yeah, looks metallic. Yeah, that's definitely the, the Doctor Doom that we needed. The cape is sculpted too. Looks great. But yeah, there's that. Um, let's go ahead and do some size comparisons. Um, let's put She-Hulk here. And then we'll put some other figures. Uh, you know what? I'll be right back. Alright, let's move right there. Alright, let's put Dr. Doom next to her. She's definitely going to be taller. Oh yeah. That's a pretty good size. I wonder if it would have been better if she was a bit buffer. I don't know, it looks good like that. But you know on certain comics... You know, there's a lot of different versions of each character, but you know, certain versions where she, there's certain versions where she's a lot buffer. Uh, let's put let's actually put the Mafex Wolverine next to them, and I'd say he scales really well with them. The Marvel Legends figure is smaller, so I guess the Marvel Legends yeah would scale a bit better because I mean Wolverine's supposed to be extremely short. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention. So there's also complaints about uh, this Wolverine's um, claws being too long. Um, so I looked it on Wikipedia, and it's supposedly supposed to be 17.8 inches, 17 point something. I forget, but that's pretty freaking long. So these are comic book accurate. So that's why they're so long, and I guess that's why they. See, as you, as you can see, these claws are longer than his forearms. And yeah, if you do the measuring in real life and everything, yeah, it's, it's pretty reasonable for his claws to be this long when you consider the comic book accuracy. But yeah, there goes another tangent. Sorry. All right, there's Wolverine. Next to She-Hulk. Um, let's put the Mesco Cowboy Wolverine next to them. And they all scale pretty well together. Um, yeah, as you can see, this Logan's a bit buffer than the Mafex. But yeah, they're different versions. Um, and let's see. Uh, you know what? I'll be right back. Alright, let's actually put the Marvel Legends Wolverine next to the Mafex. So yeah, he's just a tad bit smaller than the Mafex. All excellent figures in my opinion um okay so i definitely wanted to just do this comparison here let's take out wolverine and put oh you know we had to put the hulk beside the she hulk and see how this looks let's check it out Man, okay. Yeah, they look really good together. Yeah, really good size for She-Hulk. I love that she's, you know, taller than all the most of the other Marvel Legends figures. Man, such a cool figure. <laughs> I'm really I thought I was going to be more excited about the Doctor Doom, but I'm I don't know, I'm really liking this She-Hulk right now. Cuz Doctor Doom is my favorite comic book villain. Man, they all look great. Oh man, Hasbro is just killing it. Oh, it's just, they're just gonna get better and better too, and of course more expensive. <laughs> oh man, this hobby. Oh man, what do y'all think? Yeah, I think they scale really well together. Yeah, that's really good looking figures. 
But yeah, I think that does it. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Um, please like the video, of course, if you liked it. Uh, if you want to subscribe, please subscribe. And um, I'll catch you on the next one, all right? Hope you all doing well. Hope you all having some good hunts. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves. Make sure you're taking care of your family. And yeah, I'll catch you all next time, all right? Ranger out. Peace. Let's decide, maybe there's a happy tree, evergreen tree. He lives right there. Start with just touching the canvas. Use just the corner of the brush, just the corner, and begin pushing, making the bristles bend slightly downward. See there? Look at that. Isn't that a nice little tree? And he lives right here in this brush.